The moon initiation is the second of the five Sisters of Sashat initiations. It comes after the underworld journey of the Earth initiation. The initiation takes the candidate on a journey from the sphere of the Earth to the sphere of the moon along the 32nd path. In the Earth initiation, we have traveled through the shadow tree to arrive at the Temple of the Earth. Now we begin the journey up the Tree of Life. Each sphere on the Tree of Life has correspondences, including a number, a color, and a metal. These correspondences come from Hellenistic magic and were passed down through the Western magical tradition to the Golden Dawn. The number of the sphere of the moon is nine, the metal is silver, and the color is purple. Because the moon is so strongly associated with silver, we sometimes use that color instead of purple when working with the sphere. Each of the paths that connect the spheres of the Tree of Life also have correspondences. The 32nd path is associated with the planet Saturn and is strongly connected with the sphere of Saturn, which is the third sphere of the tree. The color of the path is black. Because it is the first path we walk on the Tree of Life, it is strongly connected with the idea of starting a journey. Saturn is a planet which can throw up obstacles, so the journey of this path is a slow one. The journey of the moon initiation has three parts and each reveals three powers, three times three. The first journey takes us through the labyrinth. This is an ancient symbol and is widely loved today as a physical way to enact a spiritual journey. Here we are guided by Ariadne, the Minoan goddess of the labyrinth, who gives us three keys. First, she shows us the pillars of the Tree of Life. In the Golden Dawn version of the tree, the pillars are the White Pillar of Mercy, the Black Pillar of Severity, and the Middle Pillar. Sisters of Sashat recasts the White Pillar as shining and the Black Pillar as clouded, the Middle Pillar remains the same. Ariadne also teaches us about reverence for nature and the shifting images of the astral world. In the next part of the journey, the three pillars of the Tree of Life have turned into three roads. These are the three roads we travel as we climb up the tree. Here, we are guided by Anya, who shows us three wonders. The English ballad, Thomas the Rhymer, Child 37, tells the story of Thomas, who is captured by the Queen of Elfland. She shows him three roads, the road of wickedness, the road of righteousness, and the bonny road to Elfland or Fairy. Like Thomas, we follow the middle road to travel to Fairy. That is the first wonder. Anya also shows us the wonder of embodiment and the wonder of sexuality. You may want to listen to Thomas the Rhymer. Steel Life Span, Ruth Barrett, and Robert Farmer all have versions of the song. The clip here is Robert Farmer's under a Creative Commons license. And see you not that bonny road that stretches back to and fro. Well, that is the path to the fair elf land where you and I. Next, we encounter Bridget, keeper of the spring, whose waters draw on the waters of creation, which nourish the tree of life. She shows us three forms of the spring, the pool in the woods, the spring in the rocks, the well in the fields. Our journey leads us to the temple of the moon. Here, we encounter Hecate, the triple goddess of the moon. She shows us a mirror where we can gaze into the gate into mystery she has opened for us. Our journey concludes in the Temple of the Moon. The ritual ends with the closing of the temple. The new sister is encouraged to recreate the Moon Temple herself through visualization, meditation, or a physical altar, and work with the energy of the Ninth Sphere. The next initiation is the Mercury Initiation, where we walk the path of knowledge. We hope you are inspired to learn more about Magia Femina and explore it yourself and with your friends. Remember to subscribe to be sure to catch our new videos.